Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to learn about branches. Now, a branch, all a branch is, is essentially a copy of your main repository. So now you're asking yourself, why the heck would we ever want to make a branch? Well, in order to understand why you would want to make a branch, it's important to understand the overall basics of a GitHub workflow. So whenever you're working on an open source project, or it doesn't even have to be an open source big project, it can even be just you know a little piece of software that you're working on with a few of your friends. What you basically are going to have is this. The first thing is just your main master repository, and this is called your master branch. Now, anytime you wanna make a change, you're basically gonna make a new branch, which is a copy of this. Now, with your personal copy, once you have that, you're gonna make any bug fixes, any you know more files you wanna add, any changes that you wanna do. So once you have all the changes made to your copy, you're gonna submit your changes back to the main repository. And usually you have someone that reviews all your changes and make sure you didn't do anything stupid. And if they get accepted, then they get merged or accepted back into your main master branch. So again, instead of just working on this repository directly, what you do is you make a copy of it, make all your changes to that copy, and then submit it back, and it's a lot cleaner that way. So that was a kind of, I'm out of breath after explaining. How out of shape am I if I'm out of breath after just talking? <laughs> wow, I need to go on a diet or something. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how the heck to do this. So again, just to reiterate, by default, this is called the main or master branch, and that's just your default main copy. So anytime you wanna make a new one, what you do is you click this drop down list, and if you don't have one that exists already, just go ahead and write like a, I name it frogs. So this main project is about dogs, and I'm saying, all right, I wanna make a copy because this website also needs frogs, so that's what I'm gonna make, you know, that's what my changes are gonna be. And just go ahead and hit enter, and then it's gonna say, okay, check this out. You are now working on the copy frogs. So if you click this drop down, you can see that this is the main one still, but the one that we are looking at actively is frogs. So always look there to make sure you're on the right branch and check it out. We can now go ahead and make whatever changes we need to this copy or this branch. And for this example, the easiest thing to do is just add a readme file. And if you guys don't know what a readme is, a readme is a special file and it's basically like a detailed overview of your project. So it goes on your homepage and if you ever want to add like a logo to your project or like a couple paragraphs about what your project is about, maybe a few links to your website, you can. But for now, I'm just going to write like um, this branch is about frogs. We need more frog pictures. And I'll talk to you guys about the special symbols and exactly, you know, more detail how you write a good readme file. But if you just go to preview, then we see that we basically just got plain text. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this file. And all right. So we now see that if we toggle back and forth, our main one, nothing changed. We just have our homepage and our get ignore. And on our frogs branch, this copy is a little bit different because we now have a readme. Basically, we have two versions of the project, but they're a little bit different. So I'm like, wow, I spent a lot of time on that readme file. I actually want to go ahead and submit my changes and make this the standard for the master overall branch. So how do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up. And if you click this branches tab, then this is basically a way that you can see all of the different branches and we only have two the master and the frogs one we just made so it's pretty easy but on whatever branch you want to submit for review you basically go down and hit new pull request this means hey i want to submit some changes to the main master branch so just go ahead and click that and now pretty much just like making a commit message you have to write a little indicator of what changes you made to the project. So it already popped in this for us, create readme MD. That looks pretty sweet. Now we just have to verify create pull request. And again, this is usually gonna be done by other people. 
other people are going to submit a bunch of changes to your projects or you know suggestions or bug fixes whatever and then you are going to review them all and decide what ones you want to accept so let's go ahead back in dogs and as you can see this is just like a normal person back in their master branch we're not in frogs anymore we can see that we got a new pull request so some user somewhere in the world decided that they wanted to submit some changes so we can click pull request to review them so we only have one right now but if you have a huge project there you're gonna have like I don't know you might get like 10 a day or something so in order to see the changes just click this little title right here their message and as you can see their pull request is broken up into three little sub tabs the first tab right here is a conversation so if this guy made some changes and I wasn't quite sure why he made them maybe I want to ask him a question or maybe I want to discuss something I'm like hey these changes look great but you forgot to add one more file then you can go ahead and leave a comment right here and it's pretty much like a chat room that you can discuss stuff back and forth so that's what all that is now this next tab this commits right here you can actually have a bunch of different changes in a single pull request so if this guy was working on a bunch of changes for like a month then this would be you know have multiple commits on it but we just made a simple commit for this little demo and this one right here of course is pretty easy to understand just like the last video we saw that the old was on the left and the new was on the right well we just made this file for the very first time so that's why it has nothing on the left and it has our changes on the right so you can go through look at their pull request and see all the files that they changed and if this looks good then you can go ahead and hit merge pull request this means accept these changes everything looks good now if these changes are bad maybe they edited something that you didn't want changed or maybe it was just some stupid guy and he made some bug in your program I don't know for whatever reason you didn't want to accept the changes then you can just go ahead and hit close pull request so again merge means accept close means basically no thanks so let me go ahead and merge this pull request and you need to hit confirm merge you can change your message if you want I usually just keep these the same confirm merge and again if you go back to your home what that did is it took the changes that they made which was adding this little file about frogs and it merges them or accepts them into your main master branch so now the entire world can see that this is now pretty much the main project the changes are now live so that is essentially how everyone in the world whenever you have these sweet big open source projects can go ahead and work on their own versions of it submit the changes and we can all work together and grow these projects and if you guys are like all right that was pretty cool but now I have this branch called frogs forever so that's kind of annoying if you ever want to get rid of that just to clean it up then you just click branches right here and delete all the old ones that you don't need anymore so just click this trash can that says delete this branch and whenever you delete it you still have all of your changes so it didn't like revert it or anything so there you go pretty cool that's the basics of branches basically copies of your main project that you can work on tweak and submit for acceptance into the main one